Hey guys, it's Rachel and today I am back at it with a second installment in my How I Style Over the Knee Boots video. I don't want to say I'm excited for this, but I am <laughs> because I say that in every single video, but my last Over the Knee Boots video that I filmed last fall had like really great reception, so I really want to film a part two for you guys and how I'm styling my Over the Knee Boots in 2016. So I will link my previous over the knee boots video in the down bar below. I really would still wear all those outfits pretty much today. I just want to show you guys a few other outfit ideas and how I will be styling them this fall. And this time I'll be doing it with my very own <gasps> over the knee boots. I got these about a couple weeks ago from Forever 21. So I'm going to link the exact pair if I can find them in the down bar below. But also I know Steve Madden has a great pair and I think Aldo has a good pair too. So I will definitely link all other options for over the knee boots down below. The pair I am wearing, I'm gonna try to show them, but let me try to sit on my thing. So this is the pair that I am wearing and I love them so, so, so much. They are from Forever 21 and they just sit a little bit over um, my knee. I would say maybe about six inches over my knee. So it's just the perfect length. They're about $53 Canadian and I know I'll be wearing them a ton so they were definitely worth the money for me. So two of the pieces including the sweater I'm wearing today is actually from Shein.com. Now they sent me two items for my last How I Style video so I am very very grateful for them. They actually sent me two items for my last How I Style video which I will link in the down bar as well. And they also gifted me this sweater for this one as well as another top that I'll be wearing in it. So I just want to extend a thank you and I'll have all the links for their stuff in the bottom bar below. So thanks for sticking by this intro and we are just gonna get right to the video. So this was my attempt at an all black everything outfit. Now I tried it with a skirt and I just didn't like the way it looked so I decided to do it with a pair of jeans, actually the ones I'm wearing right now. And I wore this top. Now I love this shirt because it really looks like the RUMI shirts and those are really expensive. I think they're a few hundred dollars and this was one from Shein and I believe it's under 20 bucks. So it's a pretty good deal and you get the same kind of look it just has really cute like gold lace detailing up the sides and I love that the grommets are oversized I think it just gives new life to that whole lace-up trend that's still pretty in right now and then of course I wore them with my Desi Perkins key sunglasses that I love so so much now this is just a really simple outfit the one thing I like about this crop top is that it pretty much met the rise of my high-waisted jean and I still think this would be a really cute going out look and you just might need to dress it up if you have like a pair of heels over the knee boots but I like this for every day as well. So the next outfit that I have here is a sweater dress outfit. Now this one actually reminds me of Aspen Ovar. So I wore my own turtleneck dress. Uh, and I'll link similar styles to it down below as well. And then of course a big floppy hat. Now I love this hat. I think I got this a couple years ago and I was wearing it all the time when I worked at Brandy Melville. This outfit just screams fall and I think it will just be really fun to go to class in, to go to dinner in, or even just spend the day. So this is my Kardashian look. Now it seems to always incorporate one of these into here and it's kind of just more glam. Just a plain generic sand sweater and then put on my over the knee boots. I am wearing little bike shorts under this because my sweater is just a little bit too short. I'm 5'5 five five and that is a size medium so I would probably need to go with a large or extra large to make it actually look like a dress. It's one of those looks that look way more expensive than it is. What else did I wear? Oh, this look. So this look I absolutely love. It kind of looks like a look that I did last year with like the sweater and the leather skirt, except what I did this year is I wore this sweater from Shein.com with a Zara skirt. And yeah, I just put on a comfy sweater and I was good to go. I just thought this was really, really cute for fall and definitely screamed sweater weather. And then the last outfit that I styled is actually this one with a collared shirt. Now you just absolutely can't go wrong. I've been watching a lot of Lydia Elise Millen and she just has this really classic style and she always just looks really like luxurious and put together. And that's what kind of inspired my look today. I think a white collared shirt just looks so crisp and clean with a pair of over the knee boots. It's a little bit more equestrian inspired. And then of course I piled on on the blanket scarf. It's just an absolute staple for fall and one of the best things that you could wear with any outfit pretty much. It's just super cozy and adds another layer to your outfit so there's just a little bit more interest and also because it's so long it makes you look a lot longer and leaner and with the high waisted rise of the pant you look really tall. I feel like in this outfit I look way taller than I actually am. I'm only like 5'4 and a half, 5'5 five five, and I feel like this just makes me look a lot leaner. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so, so much for your support. I am almost at 12,000 subscribers, which is absolutely crazy. So hello to all of my new subscribers once again. And of course, like always, I will link similar styles or exact styles to all the outfits down below. And let me know which outfit that you guys like best. So I will talk to you guys later. Bye guys.